is this? Hey guys, Maytag Machine Maniac here. Today I am bringing you another GE washer video. Today's video was requested by Kesha Johnson. I hope I'm getting that right. They want me to do uh, 15 jeans on the jeans cycle. Now I don't have 15 jeans, so I got as all I could. I have eight jeans and about five pairs of je shorts made out of a jean type fabric. So, I'm just going to start loading in the shorts first. Now, these are my formal dress pants for, you know, school events. You know, and all of these are just jeans I wear over the winter. Except for these. These were my original for formal dress pants, and they got, you know... A healthy ink stain and you know that's been there for months the machine can't get it out neither could the Maytag I mean th this machines made quite a dent on it but I'd have to wash it every day three times a day uh, you know for months to probably get it you know faded out good so eight jeans uh, five shorts of jean material so and this will be on the dedicated the machine's dedicated cycle for jeans. And of course we are using one tide pod. Ah, uh, it's the uh, spring meadow stuff. So, without further ado, So without deep rinse, so this is with it with a spray rinse default settings. Uh, 42 minutes, we're gonna bump that up to warm. Do a warm rinse, heavy soil deep rinse. So it's a 52 minute long cycle. I will determine the appropriate water level by fucking with <laughs> the deep fill. Um, I could do some stain removal. But I am not standing here for an hour and 12 minutes ish. Um, we're actually gonna bump that back down to normal. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, if you guys have any video uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments. Hold on. There we go. Also, feel free to uh, comment or DM me on Instagram at Maytag Machine Maniac. Uh, if you wish to, you know, have a more specific cycle or set of options. Um, yeah, I wash my jeans like this. These are the presets. I will normally have an extended spin, but I do not feel like, you know being here for that long, a 13 minute long spin. No, thank you. What I've noticed with uh, this machine is it's very good at uh, sensing. A accurate sensing is this machine's forte. It is so much better at determining the proper water level. And even if it doesn't, you know, you are able to adjust it with deep fill. Reminds me of, I forget the specific, the certain or what, the very specific type of algae washer but I saw an LG top loader that had a water plus feature that does the exact same thing you know they also it was the machine that had the control panel move up front
I'm probably gonna do a full cycle video. It's not really the storage. Oops, sorry. Damn it. I'm checking the uh, battery percentage on my phone. So we're now on fill instead of sensing. Um, I have like 16 gigs, so I should be able to film all of this. Or a good portion of it. I'll cut out some of the spin. Hold on. There we go. I don't want it overly hot. Yeah, it's probably 110, 120 right now. I want it to be about 115, so I don't want it over hot. What's funny is, I set it to hot, it's still doing cold. I set it to tap cold, and now it's pumping straight hot water. I don't get that. I mean, I know my uh, hoses are reversed, but they're also reversed on the back. So, the, this is cold. It runs to the cold section and vice versa. That's running hot water. So, I do use that a lot to temper my, or, or take control of how warm my water is. You can, kind of, you can see the water is rising, which is really good. I haven't tinkered or I haven't even I haven't even hit deep fill, so this should be a good wash. Ow, that's hot. So I do screw with the temperature like that to get a nice balance and take control of hot and cold and see how you know warm I can get it. But you know, that's the thing, when it's set to straight hot or tap cold, it doesn't use the temperature monitor, it just pulls. Because if it did use the temperature monitor, I think it would have switched to cold by now. No other cycle has a agitation this long, or like this. I am holding the tub in place to help get the uh, clothes moving. It's alright, push the jeans up like that, holy shit. You can see the brown pair of pants and one of the shorts pushed up. So this kind of shows off how good the agitation is. We do have a 43 minutes, 42. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off deep rinse. I don't feel like filming that much. 
So sorry if anyone wanted to see a deep rinse. I'd re I want to show off the uh, spray rinse again. Uh, the last time I showed off the spray rinse was probably on the uh, quick wash full cycle video. Uh, yeah, 32 minutes now instead. I don't know if it's catching it on a camera. Let me turn up. Uh, the water is actually blue. Uh, yeah, you can't see it, but I can see it in person. From all the jeans that are being washed, it is definitely turning blue. There we go. That's very blue lighting. Trying to hold the tub be like. But this agitation is unique only to this cycle. I've, been, I've used. The only cycles I really haven't used are active wear and cold wash. And active wear is. I mean, I've used a little bit of active wear. I paused it because my mom had put my karate gi in there. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's a white item that goes on whites. So I saw briefly the agitation, and from what I remember, because that was like a couple months ago, it was just like anything else. You know, just normal agitation. Okay guys, I'm sorry about that. I accidentally hit the pause button on my recording, so let's go. Whoops, yeah, that, that was my bad. So. You're gonna see that probably come up in the video. Sand drives me nuts. And normally when I do my jeans, I do them in a, what I call like a two-stage water level, where I let the machine do the auto sense up until the soak, and after the soak period, I um, yeah, that's me. Hello. After the uh, soak period, I will uh make the machine add more water and continue agitation from there. But I have to say, this machine is really good with this cycle. Oh. There we go. So, can I turn on my flashlight like this, or... Yeah, what does it do? Adjust focus. Oh, that, that's what that is. Okay. I can't turn on my flashlight. I'd have to start the filming over again. And... Because I don't have the editing program because it's only available on, what do you fucking call it, Apple devices and you can't get it from the Play Store, blah blah blah, ugh, you know, I just don't feel like doing that, I don't feel like going through, shutting it off, turning it on, I mean, I have an editing program that I use, but it's kind of a bitch, to be honest with you, I don't like it. It's one of those free ones, I do everything on my phone because I don't feel like porting everything, I don't have a tripod. You know, this is, you know, I stand here and film this. I don't put a camera on a tripod, angle it down. And, you know, even if I did, you'd, hearing my commentary, you'd know I'm right here, still here.
and uh, it does do warm spravences. Uh, but what's funny is it will not run the softener through the spray vents whatsoever. This will not, this dispenser tray will not be flushed whatsoever, but the, this one will be. It also uses this jet, and this jet only runs cold water. So what it does is it will do the, it has the tub moving, it has the tub spinning, drain pump running, and this on, and it'll flip from this, and then it'll start uh, flushing the, uh, detergent tray as well with hot water and then alternate back to the jet and then move on to spin and because the jet is pressurized it's the same jet that you see sprayed twice at the beginning of the cycle um it does a very good job i've seen of you know rinsing off suds and you know getting rid of excess soap which is great but the thing is, I prefer deep rinses. The only reason I'm not doing a deep rinse is because I have this on camera and I'd rather, much rather, be playing video games. But, you know, I also like, you know, I like this stuff. I don't know why, and I like the community, and I'll continue uploading for the community. You know, it's not a problem. You know, if I had a camera on tripod, I would just hit go on the camera and come back when the cycle's over. Yeah. So we're actually going to do that two-stage thing I talked about, and I'm going to add some extra water. Just a little bit. I'm not going to really consider that as a deep fill use because I didn't really add that much. I only add a little bit just to help ease out the agitation and make it less hard on the machine. about 10 more minutes of wash, so it's going to be doing this for quite a while now. Let me just check my battery percentage. Okay. I was using my phone, you know, pretty much all morning because my computer is a piece of shit! And, you know, I had to reboot it like three times for it to do anything online. And then I knocked over the mouse, and now the mouse is broken, and I'm using a backup one, so that's really good. Quite early in the morning. Quite. I actually did have another load of delicates go through earlier today, and before that, a load of uh, that on the towels and sheets cycle. I really find it funny though that I, when I was younger, I saw the GE uh, Hydro Wave machine. And I looked at that, you know, it was the Infuser Edition, the really stupid one, in my opinion. And I said, I will never, ever fucking buy a General Electric washer. And you know, years later, I've never forgotten that I said that. 
And here I am, years later, with this General Electric washer. In my house, washing my clothes. Okay. Trying to hold the tub. There we go. When... When the tub's held it like that, though, and it acts like a brake, it's more effective than my right hand. Let me try that. There we go. Let me hit autofocus. Autofocus! Damn it. Um. There we go. Uh, the wash action tends to be a bit better as there's no counter movement of the tub. It just stays in place. But, yeah. The reason I chose this machine, especially over the Samsung that we were originally gonna get, well, the original machine we were getting was a front loader. Fuck that! Especially with a matching top, uh, top load dryer. But I didn't want a front loader as I didn't want to be, you know, crouched all, you know, crouching down. And, you know, to be honest, front loaders aren't that fun, in my opinion. You know, they're cool. They really are. And they're really efficient. And they do a really well job. They do a really good job. But, you know, what I found is there are top loaders that can do just as good of a job very rare but there are some and sure they're not as efficient but they got plenty more features and you know I just prefer top loaders and I like this this in my experience top loaders and this is just my personal experience top loaders are a bit easier to work on than front loaders that's just again in my experience I've worked on both uh, top loaders are easier. But, you know, everyone has their preference, and that's fine. I prefer top loaders, though. And now I'm... And I'm not coming from a traditional top load mindset where if it's not built up with water, it's not washing. Ah, uh, that is not true. I had a front loader when I was much younger, back in Arizona. I had a Samsung VRT front loader. It was a 2009, I believe, a 2009 machine. And I liked it a lot. We sadly never brought it with us. And when we moved here, we got that. And you know, when I was young, I liked that machine. I liked how it did things until I realized that those machines were the epiphany. Yeah, you know, they not the epiphany. They were just the shit. They were shit. And what was funny was when I was really young, I liked that it used low water, and I got really afraid if it used more water. I was actually afraid. One time, my dad did you know my bed sheets. I was eight. And he washed them on the bulky cycle. And I come home and I see it rinsing and it's filling up right to the top. You know, to the very top. I'm like, what the fuck? This thing's gonna overflow. Why is it doing that? It's doing its job. But I was afraid because that wasn't normal to me. I grew. Obviously, that was, you know, eight year old stupid shit. discoloration. I don't know if you could, but it's definitely blue. It's 
So I think that might be doing a bit more full cycle videos. That is for certain. Uh, my next video that I'm planning on doing is probably going to be a casual cycle with my clothes. Or an active wear cycle. Uh, at some point, I might. This is a very slim chance as it is an extremely long cycle to, uh... Sorry, I had to pop that. That drove me nuts. Uh, my, uh, what I call my thorough clean cycle, which is the heavy-duty cycle put with dirt stain removal, extra heavy soil, maxed out spin, extra rinse, deep rinse. It's a... It's so long that the display will go to 2H. So it takes almost two hours to complete the entire cycle. Now, I do that when I have clothes that are extremely heavy. I've done that twice, actually. I did that with an overload test of mine, which was, um... I did all these jeans and shorts, followed up with 15 shirts and a couple of sweaters after. Yep. And that overload, that, that was a fucking overload. I filled, that machine filled up to the top. The machine filled up right to that point. Damn the moving tub. Right to the last row of uh, drain holes. Damn this tub sometimes. Hold on, trying to... There we go. So yeah, if I was doing a deep rinse, it'd be 25 more minutes, but I'm, I'm not, I'm just not, absolutely not doing a deep rinse whatsoever. I do not feel like doing that. Yeah, the suspension is scaring me a bit. I don't like that suspension whatsoever. Now, I'm a, me personally, I'm a big stickler for using specific cycles. And even then, I create like my own specific cycles for certain things. When I'm doing sweaters, uh, I generally do, I have a design that I like. I do casuals, light soil, warm wash, more spin, deep rinse. When I'm doing my sheets, I do the towel sheet cycle. Hot wash, warm rinse, heavy soil, uh, more spin. 55 minutes for that. And, when I, and once a month I do a sanit- I run the sanitize cycle. Off of that. Uh, whites, I have my- the white cycle set with hot wash, warm rinse, deep rinse, normal spin, heavy- uh, normal to heavy soil, and uh, stain removal. So it's a 71 minute long cycle. You know, I have all the, I have pre programs for everything, and generally everything involves a deep rinse. You guys are gonna see a spray rinse today. There we go. But I will actually, like I said, you'll see it from here. There's like a minute spin about it. Without 
it does a minute long spin like a like a wash to rinse spin like a spin in between it does like does that except not that fast I might just uh, cut that spin by hitting no spin that way I'll jump into the spray rinse and then I can have it move on to the spin Spray rinses are about two minutes long. Tops, generally. <sighs> I keep getting Snapchat streaks. Everyone shut the fuck up and leave me alone. That includes you, my girlfriend. Three months, I don't know how I do it. Yeah, I don't know how she puts up with me. But that's not for this channel. I hate it when the washer finishes and the dryer's got like 12 to 20-ish minutes. And because this washer is super quick actually, the, I mean the normal cycle's 38, the casual cycle's 35, and, and I do, I normally run casuals with deep rinse because I hate the fact that normal doesn't have deep fill. Uh, it's 43 minutes. The dryer over here, oh yeah, you're gonna take forever, so I generally just bump up the spin time. I can extend the spray rinse by hitting the stop the stop start button several times throughout it and it will continue it on longer. But I'm probably probably not gonna do that unless I deem it necessary. I'm surprised it's not speeding up right now. It normally does. I'm just gonna put that there so you can see, you know, the uh, jet, the spray jet in action. And then it's gonna flush the hot water through here, and that's where the detergent sits. But with warm rinses, because it's a high efficiency and eco machine, they're mainly a tempered warm. So it's majority cold, a little bit of hot. So now you got some hot water. There you go. But if I do this, it's going to continue running the hot water. So I might do that a couple of times. Yeah, that's about it. And that's it. See the jet in action? I'm gonna just close that up.
Um, nine minutes, and it's gonna jump right into the spin after. Yo, know, this is much better of a spray rinse than the uh, Maytag, though, that is for sure. I think part of how long the spray rinses are is determined by the sensing. I think. I mean, I've seen spray rinses that are a bit shorter than that. But, you know. Or maybe it's just because of the cycle. I've found is uh these spins are generally short but they're very effective actually even more effective than the Maytags because um instead of you know it just does it spins maybe eight minutes it spins all the way through it you know no stopping no nothing I mean except for the two minutes it takes to slow down other than that it's just powering on through and the drain pumps on the entire time there's like four or five times I'd see the Maytag and what it would do is with its sensing thing at the very end of the 13 minute spin it would determine does it need more spin time and very rarely the machine would go back up to 11 minutes and do uh, 8 more minutes of continuous straight on spin before it slowed down it would add eight extra minutes to the cycle.
is it's about to close off and shut down the spin, so I'm just gonna do it for it. And hold on. Sorry. Slow it down from two minutes. much faster slowing down. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you have any suggestions, um, leave them in the comments. Uh, follow my Instagram at Maytech Machine Maniac to see more clips of the washer, and you can also DM me suggestions from there. I hope you all have a good rest of the day. See you in the next video.